The embers of my cigarette flare with brazen egotism, daring to assume that they might pierce this all-consuming veil. I have never felt such primal darkness. A child of teeming cityscapes, my every hour filled with screaming neon bulbs that paint the shadows into rapid angles, blotting out the stars behind a screen of false enlightenment that robs the night of mystery by swamping all our secrets in a phosphorescent haze. But now, amid this midnight ocean, anything is possible. Here I let my edges bleed and swim in inky indistinction, let the shadows blur my boundaries, spread my starving senses in a net of sparking neurons casting far and wide into this sprawling onyx atmosphere to touch the freezing corners of this undiscovered void. I could be a stalking phantom formed of broiling smoke and cinders, gliding through the night on wings as gentle as a whisper. I creep with beetles, rustling beneath a layer of fallen leaves, crouch with croaking toads in streams, my breathing smooth as rushing water, pulse feet reverberating in the beat of leathered wings. I draw the darkness into me with every calculated breath, hoping to retain a trace of such complete tranquility. I feel as though I've left this clumsy, clawing world behind, sitting on an asteroid surrounded by the truth of ages. But we are fleeting specks of thought, obsessed with our own self-importance, and sometimes everybody needs a night like this to re-remember just the primal pleasure of a silent, starry sky. I crush the final ends of my cigarette between my fingers, raise my palm to grasp the moon, and fill my lungs with starlight. Thanks very much.